An Al Jazeera journalist, Peter Gresta, was released from an Egyptian prison after spending more than a year behind bars. He was jailed on charges that included aiding a terrorist group in a case widely condemned as a sham by human rights groups. Gresta insists he won't rest until his two colleagues are also freed. Australian Peter Gresta was allowed to leave a prison in Cairo following a sudden approval of the journalist's deportation from Egypt's president. We begin with breaking news out of Egypt. One of our journalists, Peter Gresta, has been freed from prison after 400 days behind bars and he is in good health. His family in Australia was overjoyed. Well, Peter Gresta is a free man. He is currently with our brother Mike in Cyprus, where he's gathering his thoughts for the moment. He is safe, healthy, and very, very happy to be on his way home. But Gresta's two colleagues, Egyptian Canadian Mohamed Fami and Egyptian Bahar Mohamed, remain in prison. That's a worrying sign, says this Amnesty International representative who monitored the entire trial. Egyptian authorities arrested the trio in 2013 over their coverage of the violent crackdown on Islamist protests following the military overthrow of President Mohamed Morsi. They were slapped with at least a seven-year prison sentence on terrorism-related charges in a trial that rights groups and fellow reporters called a complete sham. What's upsetting to their employer is why all three weren't freed at the same time. It's very unclear what's happening right now uh, with Mohammed and, and with Bahar and exactly what underpins the decision uh, that ultimately led to Peter uh, leaving detention today. For Bahar Mohammed's wife, the wait is pure agony. Without him, all she feels is bitterness and sadness. But Gresta has made it clear he won't stop fighting until his colleagues are free as well. Peter was arrested with Baha and Mohammed, and they also deserve to be free. Peter won't rest until they're released from prison. But for now, their fate remains in the hands of the Egyptian president. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi claims he is still considering pardoning those who remain in detention. Thousands of protesters have demanded Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban resign one day before a visit by German Chancellor Angela Merkel. About 3,000 people attended the Spring Comes, Orban Goes rally outside the parliament. They say most Hungarians don't support Orban's policy of closer ties with Russia. The demonstrators want the country to become a member of the European Union. Orban's party comfortably won elections last year but he's facing strong criticism for his efforts to centralize power. An agreement for Russia to build new reactors at Hungary's nuclear power plant and an 11 billion U.S. dollar loan to help finance the project are expected to be on the agenda at the meeting with Merkel.